What if from this week we start having robots that can taste food with the help of artificial intelligence? You will be amazed to know what other artificial intelligence news we have from the recent week and more. So make sure you stick to the video as we have filled this video with some amazing news which are so fresh that you never knew about. Stay tuned till the end as we are going to share the insane artificial news which just got public this week. Hello and welcome back to the AI Universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the halves and have-nots. Having said that, let's begin the video and find out the artificial intelligence news which are slowly changing our lives. Robot Chef Learns to Taste as He Goes A robot chef has been taught to taste food at various stages of the chewing process in order to determine whether it is sufficiently tasty and to see if it is salty enough similar to how humans do it. The findings of the University of Cambridge researchers could be valuable in the development of automated or semi-automated meal preparation by assisting robots in learning what tastes good and what does not. Collectives of micro-robots move in a variety of ways. Swarm patterns and collective behavior can be found all over the world. Swarming robots are also possible. Researchers have created micro-robot collectives that can move in different directions. Researchers from the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems, Cornell University, and Shanghai Jiao Tong University collaborated to create micro-robot collectives that may move in any desired formation. The study was directed by MPI Gorav IS's Gardi and Prof. Metin City, Cornell Stephen Saran and Prof. Kirsten Peterson, and Shanghai Jiao Tong University's Prof. Wendong Wang. A Simpler Way to Teach New Skills to Robots Researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have devised a machine learning system that allows robots to learn new abilities using only a few human examples. Within 15 minutes, the approach allows a robot to pick up and position objects in never-before-seen random poses. A neural descriptor is involved. Field neural network that reconstructs the three-dimensional geometry of things and uses that knowledge to understand new items similar to those seen in demonstrations. Using just 10 samples, the researchers demonstrated that the system can manipulate never-before-seen mugs, bowls, and bottles organized arbitrarily using simulations and a robotic arm. Our main contribution is the broad capacity to offer new skills to robots in more unstructured contexts considerably more efficiently. It took only a few human demonstrations for a robot to learn a new pick-and-place task. This could allow a person to retrain a robot to grasp something. Detecting Cancer from Patient Data Using AI in a Secure Manner AI and machine learning have had a huge impact on the healthcare industry. Technology advancements have paved the road for cost and time-effective analysis of large datasets. Artificial intelligence is benefiting clinical oncology and research. Cancer affects people all over the world. Early diagnosis is required for effective therapeutic interventions in efforts to lower mortality rates. Metastatic and recurring tumors, on the other hand, evolve and develop therapeutic resistance. It is critical to identify and detect novel biomarkers that cause medication resistance. A novel method for applying artificial intelligence to forecast cancer from patient data has been created that does not compromise personal information. Computers can utilize swarm learning to help them predict. Researchers take a one step towards creating an electric eye. Georgia State University has developed a new artificial vision system that employs a novel architecture to improve color detection on a micro level. Researchers write in a recent publication published in the scientific journal ACS Nano that this is the first step towards building a camera designed exclusively for micro-robots. This study demonstrates how the technology's core principle works and how the technique can be applied to produce new image sensors with a small footprint in the future. Their research centered on the creation of a biomimetic artificial vision system that uses nanotechnology to replicate biochemical processes. Scientists have developed a novel neuromorphic electrical gadget that provides colored vision to micro-robotics using nanotechnology. The following are potential benefits of the newly created artificial vision device. Topological insulators support a hybrid quantum bit. One of the most promising technologies for realizing a scalable, fault-tolerant quantum computer is superconducting qubits. Over the last two decades, tremendous progress has been made, with big breakthroughs recorded in university laboratories, government institutes, and a rising number of private enterprises around the world. Individual actors must focus on their key skills – chip fabrication and characterization, quantum system operation, qubit control, or algorithm design – as research and development in this area continues to accelerate. Topological qubits, with their better qualities, could aid in the building of a universal quantum computer. Nobody has been able to. 
The future transatlantic TTC summit in May 2022 will be centered on Russia, according to a leak. According to draft conclusions obtained by Euractiv, the EU-US Trade and Technology Council will focus on the confrontation with Russia at their next high-level meeting. Margaret Vestager and Valdis Dobrovskis, European Commission Executive Vice Presidents, will meet US Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo in Paris Saclay on Monday, 16 May, for the Transatlantic Platform's second meeting. The TTC was founded in September with the purpose of establishing a permanent platform for Brussels and Washington to discuss significant policy concerns such as global trade and emerging technology. According to the draft conclusions, the primary goal of the forthcoming meeting will be to condemn Russia. Since the inaugural Trade and Technology Council meeting on September 29, 2021, in Pittsburgh, the world has altered tremendously. The second item of the joint statement reads, the European Union and the United States strongly condemn Russia's military aggression against Ukraine. Leak! A draft statement from the Trade and Technology Council exposes transatlantic talks' key priorities. According to a joint declaration leaked to Euractiv, the EU and the US would pursue convergence in the following areas – foreign investments, expert control, AI, and semiconductors. According to two persons familiar with the situation, the focus on Russia is on what unites the blocs. The cloud and the recently agreed-upon EU Digital Markets and Digital Services Acts were removed off the table for discussion. The draft also contains the working group's conclusions, which are at various stages of completion. Standardization The text relates to the recently signed Declaration for the Future of the Internet, which pledged the EU, the US, and 30 other countries to a shared vision of digital technology, primarily to offset China's growing influence in standardization bodies. In the context of the TTC, however, technical standard cooperation has been glacial. With the establishment of the EU-US Strategic Standardization Information Framework, information exchange in this field is just getting started. Hybrid quantum bit based on topological insulators. Topological qubits with their better qualities could aid in the building of a universal quantum computer. So far, no one has been able to demonstrate an unambiguous quantum bit or qubit in a lab setting. However, researchers at JUICE's Forschungszentrum have taken steps toward making this a reality. They integrated a topological insulator into a normal superconducting qubit for the first time. Quantum computers are widely considered to be the computers of the future. They offer to deliver answers for exceedingly complicated problems that conventional computers cannot process in a reasonable time frame using quantum phenomena. However, broad adoption of such machines is still some time away. Only a few qubits are used in most quantum computers nowadays. The biggest issue is that they are quite prone to making mistakes. It's more difficult to entirely isolate a system from its surroundings as it grows larger. As a result, a new sort of quantum bit called the topological qubit has a lot of people excited. Several academic organizations and companies, including Microsoft, are pursuing this strategy. This sort of qubit is topologically protected, which means that quantum information is preserved thanks to the superconductor's unique geometric structure and electronic material properties. They also appear to allow for quick switching speeds equivalent to those obtained by Google and IBM's current quantum processors, which use traditional superconducting qubits. However, it is unclear whether topological qubits will ever be produced. This is due to the fact that a suitable material base for experimentally producing the particular quasi-particles required for this is currently unavailable. Major honestates are the names for these quasi-particles. They could only be shown unambiguously in theory till recently, not in experiments. Hybrid qubits, as developed for the first time by Dr. Peter Schuffelgen's research group at Forschungszentrum Julix Peter Grunberg Institute, are now opening up new possibilities in this field. At critical locations, they already have topological materials. As a result, researchers now have a unique experimental platform to evaluate the behaviors of hybrid qubits. China and Russia are preparing a fresh drive for internet censorship. Officials and stakeholders on both sides of the Atlantic expect China to reintroduce a centralized version of internet governance this week, bringing the debate into political rather than technological ground. Excited to know what more great artificial intelligence news we will have next week? Then make sure you are subscribed to our channel. Thanks for watching till the end.